हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ बेसिक थ्री डी मॉडल ऑफ पैनल बॉक्स इन ऑटोडेस्क इन्वेंटर शीट मेटल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद टुडे ट्यूटोरियल गो टू न्यू टेक स्टैंडर्ड शीट मेटल पार्ट एंड गो टू क्रिएट नाउ फ्रॉम हेयर टेक द टू डी स्केच एंड सेलेक्ट द एक्स वाई प्लेन गो टू लाइन कमांड here from this center point make this side a line of 62.5 and a vertical line here of 75 mm okay skip now go to line command once again from this center point make 62.5 mm and height here of 40 mm make a taper profile and make a straight profile and escape okay now go to dimension the dimension of this profile will be 25 mm and the horizontal dimension of this will be 22.5 mm okay and the total height of this will be 75 mm okay now this is fully constrained sketch you can see the all the dimensions this dimension from here to here this total is 125 mm so we have taken half both sides now finish sketch and go to counter flange go to front view now you can see the sheet part is coming out of the sketch so from here flip the side now it is inside the sketch okay rotate the view and here we want a symmetric flange so here we will select distance mid plane and the dimension here will be 130 mm okay now apply and escape go to sheet metal defaults and here give its thickness as 1.5 mm and apply okay now you have seen the change in the thickness now go to flange command and select this side flange side edge this side edge and this side edge and here give the distance as 10 mm okay now you can see the side edges and apply similarly we will do this side select this internal edge this internal edge and this internal edge and apply the distance of these flanges are 10 mm skip now go to this base create sketch and from here select the center point slot center to center slot and make a slot over here <coughs> give them dimension the radius here will be of 20 and the center to center distance of 50 mm now to make this profile constrained you can see here a yellow dot which is a center point of this whole profile so go to coincident select this green slot center point and merge it with this yellow point okay now this is fully constrained select this profile make it a construction geometry this is just for reference now go to circle command and here make a circle of dia 5 mm go to dimension from outer this will be at a distance of 10 mm and from this side also 10 mm okay now go to rectangular pattern and pattern this profile go to direction 1 
and select this edge. Here take a center to center distance as 9 mm and the count here will be of 13. Go to direction 2, click here, rotate the view, from here flip and the total count will be of 13 and the center to center of 9. Okay. Now you can see this profile till here and ok. Top. Now go to 3D model, select the extrude command, select this top plane. Now we will select the circles outside this slot profile. So we will select this side, ok and this and we will select this all ok we will select this this profile and from here we will select from this line all the profiles ok and we will select this and these four this this and this ok uh, ok you can select this also ok and we will leave all the profiles which are lying in the slot and go to home as you can see it is making a extrude so we want a cut so click here cut and ok so this is the profile which we are left with now this is just for a pattern now we will make a sketch on this face so select this face go to create sketch from here select the two point rectangle and here make a rectangle go to dimension the depth will be 5 mm and the width will be of 10 mm. This will be at a distance from side will be 10 mm. Okay, now this is constrained. Now go to rectangular pattern, select this complete profile, this also. Go to direction 1, select this edge flip the direction and here take count of 6 and the center to center gap of 20 ok now you can see the profiles and ok now go to 3d model go to extrude select these profiles and here go to cut and ok so this is the final profile now we will make a ham profile over it so go to ham command here we will select the rounded and the radius of 1 mm and angle here we will select 280 degree and go to edge selection select this edge and apply ok now go to rectangular pattern select this ham1 go to direction 1 and select this edge flip the direction and here give a count of 7 and center to center gap of 20 ok now you can see the profile on all the edges and ok ok so this is the final profile now we will make the punch profile for punch profile which uh, we have to first define the location so select this face go to create sketch and here go to point command with respect to point we define the location of the punch so 
make one point here and one point here go to dimension from outside its dimension will be at a distance of 30 mm and the center to center distance here will be 15 mm and from bottom this will be at 10 mm ok skip now go to vertical constraint select this point and select this point ok now they are defined now finish the sketch and from here select the punch tool and we will select the lower tool and open now you can see the profile go to geometry and size here the by default size is 40 you can change it to 30 mm and finish ok now you can see you can learn this how to make this punch tool in my video I have already made a separate video for this so the link of that video is in description you can check it from there go to rectangular pattern command select this feature and go to direction 1 and select this as direction 1 and here give a distance of 70 mm count of 2 and ok ok now we will make the vent profiles on back face so this face we will select rotate this view and from here select this face go to create sketch go to circle command and here make a circle of dia 40 mm go to dimension from this side the dimension will be 35 go to horizontal constraint here drag this and you will find a green point this which will be the midpoint of this line and click on this midpoint now it is the location of this vent is defined now go to finish and take the cut command and cut this profile ok now we will make the bend, uh, vent ribs so select this face again go to create sketch now go to circle command here make a circle of dia 10 from same center dia 20 and from same center dia 30 mm ok now go to concentric constraint select this outer circle and select any of these circles so their location is defined at the center point of this outer circle escape select this outer circle make it a construction geometry now go to offset command select this circle drag this cursor outside enter and here take 1.5 offset Similarly, select this circle of dia 20, click and uh, drag this mouse outside, enter and take offset of 1.5. Skip. Now, here you can see the random values. So, click on this value, again write 1.5, and here also click here and again write 1.5. Now, you can see the exact 1.5 value. Now finish sketch and go to face, select the circle, select this rib and select this rib, ok. Now select this face once again, go to create sketch and here go to line command and go to project geometry first, project this circle and project this outer circle, ok. Now go to line command, select this point, this point and this outer point, ok, escape. So this will be center line. Now go to offset, select both these lines, drag mouse this side, left side, enter 
and here group dimension 1 mm. Similarly, select both the lines, mouse at right, enter, distance of 1 mm. Escape. Now select this outer circle and this internal circle and make it a construction geometry. On this sketch should be in the solid lines. Go to arc command and select center point arc. From this center point, join this and this. Okay. Similarly, from this center point, join this and this. Okay. And escape. <coughs> now select again this circle, make it construction. Now we can only see the profiles. Now we can uh, reduce this distance also. Double click, change it to 0.75 and for this also 0.75. So it will make 1.5 m. Okay. Now go to sheet metal, go to face command and we will make a face of this rib of distance 1.5 mm and apply ok now we will make a circular pattern so for circular pattern go to circular pattern here select this face 2 go to rotation axis and select this outer circle for rotation axis here give a count of 8 and ok now this is the vent profile. Now we will mirror this profile this side also. So go to mirror, select all the features which we have selected from cut to phase 1, phase 2, circular pattern. Now go to mirror plane and select the XY plane. You can see the vent profile over here and OK. OK. Rotate the view. Now you can assign the appearance or the color from here click OP it will show you the opal color ok now you can make a flat pattern of this sheet metal part so from here click on create flat pattern so it will generate a flat pattern with the bend lines over here now go back to folded part so this was a basic tutorial to how to make a sheet metal panel box. So I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.